Be Sorry. really cautious not to flip flop anatomy when you're switching from A to AP to PA. So this is now her right side. So I need to go on the other side of the tube. So I'm gonna have Morgan step towards me just a little bit. Good. And let's say that there's a suspected scapular body fracture. And I need to see the body of this scapula without any superimposition of other anatomy. If, if I need to see that, I need to have her place her affected side, her affected arm, across her body to the opposite shoulder the best that she can. Okay, now her humerus is unobstructing or unsuperimposing the body of the scapula. Okay, now let's say we needed to really see that acromion and the coracoid process well. The way that we would do that is cross her arm back behind her lower back. Okay, because now the humerus, and I'm gonna spin you around so she can see. So now, not quite somewhere, the Sorry. humerus is superimposing the scapula body, okay? But the Y here, the acromion and the coracoid are unsuperimposed and in a good position. It With it crossed, cross this one across your body. Now, with the affected side arm across her body, this body of the scapula is unsuperimposed by the humerus. So this is how we would see this if we needed to see it. Okay, so turn around for me. Good, so I'm gonna find her AC joint anteriorly with my finger. And then the superior angle, if you follow the medial portion of the scapula up, it'll start to curve a little bit. That is the superior angle. So put your thumb there. Your finger is on the AC joint, your thumb is on that superior angle and you're gonna rotate the patient's body 45 to 60 degrees towards the affected side until this imaginary line between your fingers is perpendicular to the IR. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot you over just a little bit and take a little step forward if you can. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna, there you go. All right, so now the line between my fingers is perpendicular to the IR. Where do I need to center? Your papers say it. Mid vertebral border of scapula. Yes, okay, mid vertebral border. This is the vertebral border, okay? This medial border here is the, mid, is the vertebral border. So we're gonna center between the top of the shoulder and this inferior angle here, which I think we're actually pretty good. Sorry. 10 by 12 lengthwise, I didn't have it open correctly. Okay, Morgan, I'm gonna have you step to your right just a little bit, there you go. Okay, and then we're gonna center our crosshairs right on this border here. Okay, we can collimate side to side. Get our marker in here, that's still her left side. My tube and Bucky are still lined up. Okay, she's still shielded. What are her breathing instructions here? Suspend. Suspend. Suspend, yes. We don't want this moving during exposure anymore, like on the AP, so we need her to hold her breath. Centering is exactly the same. Can you bring this arm behind your back now? Thank you. Okay, centering is exactly the same if her hand is behind her back, okay? We don't change anything about the positioning requirements we're still centered the same. We've got light below the inferior border and light above her shoulder a little bit. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Am I sweating? Yes. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. So go ahead and you can stop there.